Okay, this is a video on how to use Divi and uh, Showcase IDX. So Personal SEO teaches um, how to integrate Showcase and uh, Divi WordPress all together. Um, so here is the site that we're working on. Divi is already installed. Um, we wanted to um, add um, Hanover Park. And so I have uh, created uh, Hanover Park right here. This is all light green, so it's global edited. So m meaning that once I change um, this on this page, it'll change it on the community pages as well. So um, when it's light green, then uh, you could do that. So one of the easy things I did, just didn't want to do every little thing, is that I just click duplicate and then I dragged it over here and I duplicated each of these elements, drag them over, change the name. Um, the only thing I haven't done, as you can see at the bottom of the screen down here, that it still says Bartlett because the Hanover page has not been created. Uh, so uh, the very first thing that we do is we go to pages and all pages. And I, you know, honestly, I tend to want to cheat as much as I can because creating a bunch of pages is boring. And what I actually want to do is just create the page and then move on. Um, so for example, here is um, Barrington. So I'm just going to click duplicate this. And this will duplicate everything on the Barrington page. Um, but we're doing Hanover. So what do we do? So then after that's duplicated, find the Barrington page again and it will say draft. So I'm just scrolling down trying to find the draft. Here's the page that I duplicated. Um, the reason why it's not above is because these are all childs of the Barrington page. So it puts it at the bottom. So now we're going to just edit the page. And you can do this with Divi in the front end or the back end. I tend to like the back end. So um, all we do is, I'm waiting for this to load up a little bit, okay? All we do here is we replace this with Hanover Park Homes for Sale, which is the keyword that keywords that work. Um, after keyword research, we edit the slug. This is, we really don't do it that much. And the reason why we're doing it is because um, it's an entirely new page. Uh, the next items that we do is uh, we click on the text. And here's uh, Barrington. This is all Barrington information. So for this, all I'm going to do is replace the Barrington and hit Hanover Park for sale. And then now I'm going to erase uh, the the picture. Actually, I won't erase the picture. I am going to replace the picture um, to match the home page. So I'm just going to hit X on the picture and then I'm going to go to add media and uh, the Hanover Park picture is right here. I'm going to show it at full size since it's smaller than the last size. I'm going to center it and I'm not going to link to anything. Hit select. Now the picture is in. So Hanover Park Homes for Sale. Then the next thing I'm going to do is click on the picture, click on edit, and then uh, on the alternate text place Hanover Park Homes for Sale. Um, this is good SEO. You should have that um, on all of your images. And then that is the only thing in this section that needs to be done. Um, here are the buttons, and since I duplicated these button, um, it just says back to community, so I don't need to change any of that. Um, and then the next button is uh, view properties, and this is just a, a jump link, so I don't really have to touch that, so the buttons can stay the same. And then so now we're going to switch to the content. So here's all this Barrington information. There isn't any information for on the Hanover page that content has not been created. Therefore, you can just delete that entire piece of that entire row. Uh, the next thing um, here is the homes for sale in Barrington. So this is where the showcase hot sheet is going to come in. Um, so again, I'm replacing just this section right here. And the reason why I switch over to text and do it is because I don't want to lose the map ID equals canvas. Um, that is a jump link. So the ID equals is the same as the link right here. So if you look at the link, it says hashtag map canvas. So when you click on the button, it'll automatically jump down to this page. Now, I know it's kind of funny to have a button with no content, but later on when you come in and add content, you would just click on the plus sign here, then you would click on a new row, then you would go down to text, and then you would add all of the content that you want. Hit save, and then this 
button becomes more effective because then you're jumping your visitor down to where the listings are if they want to go there immediately. I'm going to delete that for now. Um, this this is a sidebar and you could tell it's a sidebar when you stretch the page out a little bit then then you can see where this floats on the side here um, so just know that in the orange section on all of the parent pages of uh, the larger cities that you have this section right here um, so we're going to actually leave the sidebar the same but we're going to delete the barrington sidebar so we're going now um, I'm going to click down here just to make sure I did that right. Yes. Um, so now I'm just going to hit a publish page because what we do have to do is we have to create that widget that goes on the Hanover page. And so we're going to jump around just a little bit back and forth so that you understand how to create an entire page and then integrate Showcase IDX. So while this is saving, um, okay, now that that's saved, I'm going to go to appearance and then I'm going to go to widgets. You don't have to wait for it to load. You could just move on with your life. Um, so I'm going to shrink this back down so that you can see the whole entire thing. Um, these are the extra widget areas that I have created. And so how I did that is I just went to widget name and then typed in Hanover Park or whatever it was, Hanover Park, and hit create. The issue with Divi is that, okay, what happened? It's been created, so you don't see anything. Um, so what do we do now? How do I get it to show? So this is the step that I do it in so that the next time you come back to this page, the Hanover park page will be there. So the next thing I do is I click on menus. And then I create a new menu. And over park, you can label it kind of whatever you want. This is a hidden name. So I'm just going to hit create menu. Uh, the first thing I add is the Hanover park homes for sale, the page that I just created. Then I change and remove homes for sale out of it because what's going to happen in the menu is that you don't want Hanover Park homes for sale, nor Church Street homes for sale, Clipper Drive homes for You're going to stack in homes for sale so much it's going to be redundant and Google will penalize you for over optimization. So now you have a menu that's been created. Again, I just clicked on create new menu, named the menu, dragged the first page that I created over to the menu, then hit save menu. Hanover Park has been saved. Now let's go back to the widget page. A lot of this time you're just waiting for the page to load instead of um, actually doing anything. So now, magically, Hanover Park is here. Technically, yes, if you would just refresh the page, you would see Hanover Park, but we needed to create the navigation menu anyways, and this is the most streamlined way I think of, I can think of doing it. So now I'm just going to drag the navigation menu over and drop it, and then switch it to Hanover Park. And then at the same time, I'm going to type in Hanover Park. Where's that E? Neighborhoods. Oh, I can never type. Okay, so that title will actually appear on that page. Okay, so we created this page. What do we do now? So now what we do is we go back to pages and go to all pages. Okay, so there's 144 items. Technically, you should be able to just type in Hanover and hit enter, and then Hanover Park should be the first result. I have a hard time, a lot of times, um, having that done correctly. So we're just going to make sure it's done, make sure it shows. Um, if you can't find it, you may have to go back to the list and, and um, find it off of the list. So we're gonna click edit again. And you notice that since I duplicated the Bartlett page, that this is a subpage of communities already. So this isn't something that you would have to do over and over again. Um, and you'll also notice that Hanover Park Homes for Sale is in there. The next thing I'm going to do, honestly, is just I should have done it the first time, is I should just remove Homes for Sale. And the reason being is that there are going to be subpages of Hanover Park, and we want the final URL or the final page in the parent child child um, page to be the one that says home for sale. So for example, um, orchard homes for sale. Um, when we create that page, it'll the whole URL is going to be homes by CVD slash community slash Hanover Park slash orchard homes for sale. That's the correct way to do it. It's not correct to do communities Hanover Park homes for sale slash um, oh, just 
orchard, homes for sale, just forgot that. Um, so just know that if you're going to have a bunch of sub communities or neighborhoods of a community that you would end it there, yes, you were going to take an SEO hit for doing that, but, but it's still proper SEO because you're siloing. Um, the Yoast and Rank Math do, does not take an effect that, um, um, that you're going to have sub pages. So, um, that's why we do that. And then, so I'm going to spread this out so you can kind of see the difference. The only thing you're missing is the update button. Um, so right here, what we want to do is we want to add to the sidebar, the new Hanover, um, page. So we scroll down and then click on sidebar. And then under the widget area, we go to Hanover park and then we hit. Okay. Now, um, when I hit save, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in um, and do the admin label, which I just missed to do. And I'm going to type in Hanover Park. Um, this is important just to keep you organized. And then now I'm going to click and hold. See how the mouse turns into the arrows? Click and hold and drag that on top. The final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the three lines. And then I'm going to click on Save to Library. And then I'm going to type in Hanover Park. And then I'm going to click and make sure that it is a global item and I'm going to throw it in the neighborhoods category. You don't have to throw it in the neighborhoods category. You don't have to have a category, but <clears throat> making it a global item is a good idea since <clears throat> if you edit it, 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 it makes that edit everywhere. Now when I hit save to library, this is going to turn light green. This is a global item. So anytime you use the Hanover Park menu on the sidebar widget area, you will it will be the same throughout the rest of the website. Blah. Okay, the other items, so this will still say Barrington. You really want it to say Hanover Park Homes for Sale. So you just um, highlight, copy, um, kill the Barrington, put in Hanover Park, edit, edit the snippet, erase whatever Barrington was there, paste in Hanover Park Homes for Sale. It scored pretty well just by doing that, and it's still showing the wrong listings. Um, so I am going to hit update on this page, and now I'm going to switch to Showcase IDX. So unfortunately, Showcase IDX doesn't have a way that you could do this inside of the current website. So you kind of have to have two tabs open, go back and forth, because what you were creating is you were creating the short code. Um, so I'm going to move this over so you can see the new hot sheet button. So I'm going to click on uh, new hot sheet. And then again, I'm going to title it Hanover Park. Um, I like to show it in a list because a list shows more information than the grid, in my opinion. I'm going to change the limit results to 60. Link to full results, show the map, yes. Um, and then now I'm going to scroll up to the top, and Hanover Park has never been created before, but if it had, you would just select it from this area. Um, if you create the search first, by going to search library and then doing it, then it would be in the list. But uh, do do whatever order you want. So <laughs> click on create new search and then Hanover Park. And then hopefully I can get away with just typing in Hanover Park, which I can. Part of the issue that you need to do is when it autofills for you, just click on Hanover Park, Illinois. Then what happens is it auto adjusts the map and everything on the site. Now, if you really want to change any more, this is the, if you really want to change more information, you can by click on more, clicking on more and you could change listing filters, school districts, all that stuff. You could do that. But since we're just doing a general Hanover Park page, we would just leave it the way that it is. Um, now we're going to scroll down. It gives you some more options, types of subdivision, map center, descending. Um, I usually just kind of leave this blank or defaulted and then hit save search. All right, this automatically now takes you back to that hot sheet that you created with the Hanover Park searched in the search library that you just saved. It's really beautiful. It actually saves you a lot of time. So that's why I start with the hot sheet. Then I click on the create new button that was there. Then I save it and then it brings me right back to here. And the only thing I have to do at this moment is click create hot sheet. Now the new hot sheet that you create is at the top of the page. You just click copy go back to your website, scroll down where the listing information is, which is right here, because remember, this is on the side really, but it's moving it down for mobile responsibility in design. This, this isn't the bottom of the page, this is the bottom of the page. Click on the sprocket. 
and erase the last hot sheet with the new hot sheet. Technically, all you would really have to do is replace Barrington with Hanover Space Park, but it's, it's copying and pasting. I mean, come on, it's easy. Okay, so the Hanover Park is completely created with listings. Magically, the content has 3,000 words, and that's because the listings show as content. It's really, really easy. This is a really easy page to get to green. The only thing you had to do, what you would have to add the keyword phrase in one more time, outbound, if you just wrote a paragraph linked to the Wikipedia version of Hanover Park, um, it would turn green fairly quickly. Um, fairly easy, it would get to like 80%. So now that the Hanover Park page is done, we're going to hit update. And wait. And wait. And wait. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to right click here. Uh, come on. There we go. Now we're going to right click on this and open this in a new tab. And the reason being is because we are editing the home page. Now, on the home page, I am using Divi on the front end. So I am going to, uh, I'm not going to click Exit Builder. If you click Divi on the front end, it's basically the same exact thing. It's just you get to see what you're looking at rather than the background that I'm looking at. And I think when you're creating new communities that this would be the best way to do it. And then I'm going to plug Rank Math one more time. This is a beautiful thing that if you change the slug, Rank Math automatically creates the redirection for you. So in other words, I created Hanover Park Homes for Sale and went, oops, it should just be Hanover Park. So I erased it out of here. And at that moment when I hit save, Rank Math updated it and created a uh, redirection. Yoast, which is a competitor to Rank Math, um, is does the same thing. However, you have to pay ninety dollars a year. Yoast does a bunch of other stuff, but but that's what it does. And now you also see that Hanover Park magically is green. So this is a very well optimized page. If you get it to a hundred percent, your likelihood of ranking in the top ten is fairly large. Um, but I would say based on, you know, competition as well. So if you have someone killing it and having a lot of backlinks to their Hanover Park page and you just created yours, eh, maybe not so much. Uh, the other thing that Rank Math does that um, is really cool is that since I saved and created this page, it told Google, hey, go to my sitemap. There's new stuff there. So adding a bunch of new pages this way will increase the entire ranking um, of your website because Rank Math automatically tells Google to recrawl the sitemap, which is okay in SEO world. So back to the home page. Um, I click, we created this new tab by clicking on this link here and saying opening in a new tab. Now we have this pad tab, we click on it and hit control C. Here is the Hanover Park neighborhoods with the menu already listed and later I'll come in and make it look like a box or leave it the same just to have some delineation between the two. So here's the Hanover Park page, there are the two buttons and then here's all the listings and, and I showed all 60 listings and you're going to say but wait you said that you didn't like the grid but you liked the listing layout. Showcase is nice in the fact that if the wider the page is then it actually shows all of the listings. So it is responsive so that you can know that the list is great. It does show the list and the content. However, if somebody looks at it on, a, on their phone, they're gonna see the grid layout. It's, it's a cool way. All of the content's technically there. Um, so what we do is we click on the link, hit uh, Control C or Command C if you're using a Mac, go back to the home page edit, and then hover over these items, click on the gear, click on the link and change the Bartlett link to the Hanover link, change the button to the Hanover button, the link, not the words, and then I did I do, I don't do the top one, so I'll just make sure you can get away with doing, I actually do, so then on the Hanover Park, I'm going to change this link as well to Hanover. So now all three sections of this are linked to the brand new Hanover page. And then we go from that point. So I'm just gonna click save. It's gonna spin. If you do not click save, it will not save. So um, make sure you click save. And usually the save button is hidden behind 
this purple button. So you click on the purple button and then you hit save. Um, these other items, you can switch the website to look on a tablet view. Then you could switch it again to see how it looks on a phone. So you can adjust every little thing on the site. That's why I love Divi. Um, but you can see what it looks like on each device. Um, so that is really how to add a page. Now, um, the next thing that we're going to do, for example, is Orchard. And I, so we're going to add sub pages to the Hanover Park page. I'm not going to go through the whole creating a page and all of that again. What I would tell you to do is on this page here, we're all done with this page. The next thing that I would tell you to do is click duplicate this page. So I'm going to hit duplicate it. It's going to duplicate it and take me back to the all pages view. I uh, tend to like, it's my personal opinion, I like nextdoor.com because it gives me the list of neighborhoods. Um, and then so I'm just going to pick on Orchard. So this is Orchard inside Hanover Park. And what we want to do is we want to create this sub listing. So in Showcase IDX, so what I'm going to say is everything else is the same. So we duplicated it. Um, here are the all the pages. Let's go to the Hanover Park page. You can see the draft. So then now when we click edit, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to Orchard. Orchard, and then I'm going to edit the link and just type in Orchard. Don't put capitalize there. With the K. Okay, and then I'm going to follow the same steps. Orchard text. I'm just going to replace this, and I don't have a picture for Orchard, so I'm just going to delete it. Orchard Homes for Sale. Technically, you don't need the buttons either. Um, if you don't want to display the buttons because there's no content, you can click on the three lines, just hit Disable, and then choose all the devices, computer, tablet, phone, and it won't show, but it won't be deleted. Uh, then go to the bottom, and then replace Hanover Park with Orchard. And then now we have to create the link. Um, fairly simple and easy to do. So we come back here and go to new hot sheet and then that was just all habit. Uh, go to list, listings 60. There's probably not going to be 60 map. Yes. And the reason why on this thing on the map, when I create a new search, I'm going to assume that orchard is not listed under this location. So Orchard, and there's a lot. So do they have Orchard of Hanover Park? Is it just Orchard? They don't. So <clears throat> the next thing that you do, and this is why I chose this one, is that we need to create a box around where Hanover Park is. But it's really difficult to know where Hanover Park is, and I find it a pain in the butt to go, okay, here's State Route 3090, and then it splits off to 19, and then now I'm zooming in and zooming out. Uh, a nice cheating way is that if you typed um, Hanover Park and click on it, it'll zoom right to that section, which is great. Um, and then... At this moment, you can you can zoom in a little bit more, and then you could see 390, and then you have uh, you're almost at the section of where next door is. So if I'm looking for Walnut Drive and and 390, just kind of where it curves, you just kind of try and figure out where exactly this is. And I think it's right about here, and so you just kind of zoom in a little bit more until you start seeing uh, street names. And if the street names don't populate, just keep zooming in, and eventually they should, that being the key phrase. Um, and the same thing with this one, if you zoom in just a little bit. And, and you kind of look for, okay, so here's all of this weird section right here, and then it kind of looks like it just goes straight. So let's zoom out. Um, here's all of this weird section right here. Oh, that's really weird. Or they look really different. 19. Oh, because I'm not on the right section. That's 20. So 
again, you just kind of zoom out just a little bit. Uh, there is 19 over there. So even you're going to struggle a little bit. Um, just keep zooming out just to try and find where it's at. Again, doing the Hanover thing does somewhat kind of help. If you get messed up, just type in Hanover Park again. Let it zoom to where you are. Um, and and this, this does take just a little bit. I would say once you do it a couple of times, you get really used to where things are. Um, so it's in between 20 and 90 Church Street. So you can kind of just kind of figure out where it's at. Um, so it doesn't really take it doesn't take that long to kind of figure out where things are. So Walnut Ave, so it is right here. And yes, that took a little bit, but it's really not that big of a deal. Zoom in just a little bit, and I know that there's that jog in the row, but that's kind of the section that I'm looking for. Orchard Lane is literally all Orchard is. So once you find Orchard Lane, which it's right there, I zoomed right on it, luckily. I'm going to hit back one more time. So it's basically just this section right here. Um, so then you just click draw. Um, you draw a box. It's pretty, pretty that simple. I don't, I am not perf a perfectionist on this. I tend to not care about about false positives. There may be some. Um, if you're really particular, then you can kind of match what Nextdoor does, but <clears throat> um, you kind of get the idea. So in Orchard Lane, there are about two listings, um, depending on what side of the street it's on. So if I didn't go far enough or if I went too far, um, that would be why there would only be two. So you can adjust this as well just by clicking on the boxes and moving them out a little bit. Um, that didn't get me any more listings. Um, but again, I usually don't find uh, people are that particular. It's kind of, if they're searching like this for this specific street, they either want to get into a school district or they just really like that neighborhood. Um, so we go from that point. So now that that's saved, we click save search. And then again, this goes back to the hot sheet page with Orchard already listed, with the list, with 60 results, with list link to full views, with the show map, create hot sheet. Scroll up to the top, hit copy, now go back to the Hanover Park page. And you're like, hey, we've already done this, why do we need to do this again? There are a couple of things that need to be changed. So this is where the listing is. And again, you can go to the admin label and type in listings. And from now on, every time you duplicate this page, it'll have that listing admin admin label in there. So I'm just going to erase the Hanover Park. Now it's Orchard Homes for Sale. Now, here's where SEO and siloing and all of that comes in for sale, comes in to play. Um, homes by CVC Communities, Orchard Homes for Sale. We don't want that URL. The URL we really want is Communities Hanover Park. So now we, and then when we hit publish, we will see it go from Homes by CVD slash community slash Hanover Park slash Orchard Homes for Sale. And the reason why is because Google is smart enough to know that Orchard and Hon is, a, is a neighborhood of Hanover Park. It knows this because it drove around your neighborhood taking photos of your homes. So we need to lay it out the same exact way that you've done before. The next thing we need to do is highlight and copy home, Orchard Homes for Sale because it's not a Hanover Park page. Paste it in there. Click Edit Snippet. Make sure this says Orchard Homes for Sale. Re copy and paste over the Hanover Park. So then now you have a nicely organized website. And then magically, 80%. So we're just going to hit Update. And this page is done. So the final thing that we need to do is we need to add it to the menu. And while that's saving, I am going to hit uh, Exit Divi Builder because I already saved that. Going to go back to the dashboard. Go to appearance and then menus. And then it automatically saves the last menu that you're working on. So I just click on Orchard, add to menu. Now I have Hanover Park and Orchard Homes for Sale. I'm just going to erase Homes for Sale. It doesn't do anything with the SEO value. It just looks nice for the user. Click save 
and the Orchard Homes for Sale page is done. 80 is pretty good. Again, a little bit of content um, would work perfectly fine. I just want to make sure I change that one. Um, just, a, just a couple of sentences about Orchard, what type of homes are there, and it will go to 81%. So fairly easy and quick. Again, this automatically changed the redirection from community slash Orchard Homes for Sale to Hanover Park slash Orchard Community slash Hanover Park slash Orchard Homes for Sale. Automatically created that redirection. Yes, that does do a lot for the redirection, but technically this redirection should never be used because we are done with that page, but just let it sit there. So now when I refresh the Hanover Park page, Orchard is now listed, so Hanover Park and Orchard. And then um, the user can then now click between Hanover Park and Orchard, and then you see um, communities communities. Yes, I, I agree that this is dumb, but I, I'm forcing Steve to write some content, maybe a paragraph, and then it won't, it won't look that way. Um, for an example of how this is done um, for an entire community, I'm going to click on Schomburg you'll go to the Schomburg page and now all of these pages are done and created for the Schomburg community so this is really what I'm looking for is um, all of this this is all the neighborhoods in Schomburg here is beautiful content people can click on view properties it jumps down to the property section this is a very good nice SEO page um, it has outside links, internal links, this counts as all internal links, this is great. Therefore, when the user is looking for a home in Schaumburg, they can go, oh, there are all these neighborhoods. And then if, if Steve really wants to knock it out of the park SEO-wise, um, he would go, here are the schools in Schaumburg, and here are the homes in the school district. So he links to the school district, so we can um, show you the homes next to the schools in the school district. So if they are high-valued schools, that would be great. Um, so uh, that is it. That is the whole section of doing uh, of how to add showcase to a Divi website, to duplicate a page, to SEO a page, reasons why uh, we like rank math. And again, most of these pages do not have really any content on them, but they do have listings on them. And using Showcase IDX for listings works great. Yes, again, uh, we want to force uh, the end user, the owner of the website, to come back in and add just a paragraph of, of uh, content. Um, if, uh, for example, Steve went through and went, here are the Schomburg homes for sale by price range, then we would do the same exact thing. Um, I would tell him to do price ranges. I would tell him to do um, all of the neighborhoods, and I would tell him to do homes next to schools. And that way that um, really works with providing a bunch of internal linking, um, having a bunch of content, and really filling out the whole entire site so this will be the be-all, end-all um, website for actually each community. Actually, each of these communities, you could do that when you fill it all out. All the SEO stuff is there because we're leveraging the fact that listings show as content on the website. Um, thank you very much for watching. This is Personal SEO Teaches How to Integrate Showcase IDX into a Divi WordPress website. Have a good day.